let's find out what a G&T cupcake is. Good morning, Vanessa. Good morning. We are making gin and tonic cupcakes today. It is World Baking Day. So what a great recipe for us to share. And we are going to make a gorgeous gin and tonic syrup to put on the top of our cupcakes and then ice them with a gin icing. Mm. Great to have you with us. We're in the Blanco kitchen. Vanessa, it's your last day filling and thank you so much for the awesome week. Did you miss me over the last couple of days? Oh yes, but we had great fun with Mel in the oh, kitchen. Yeah, okay, she joined the Fearless Kitchen Brigade. It was awesome. Well, cool. I'm here and I'm fearless, so let's get going. Gin <laughs> and tonic cupcakes. Sounds delicious. Oh yeah, they're really good and it seems like a perfect idea for a baking day and oh. heading into the weekend. Brilliant. Okay, mm. let's get going. What so, do you want me first, to do? actually, first job for you is to make the syrup. Okay. So, actually, what, what you can do is if you're at home and you would like to, you can just make your favourite cupcake recipe okay. to make the cupcakes. Yes. Because this is really all about the syrup that goes on top and the icing. Okay, so, the nice. syrup's got the gin and tonic in it, okay. and the icing has the gin in it as well. Nice. So, really, if you wanted to, you could create your own favourite recipe uh, for cupcakes. Exactly. Right, and then just get the icing and the syrup, right? Exactly, so it's just a very simple vanilla cupcake mixture, but what goes in this gorgeous syrup is the tonic water, so you okay. can pour that in. Okay, do you need me to turn this on? Yes, and you can turn that on. So what we're making is a simple sugar syrup. Now, in a cafe or a restaurant or at home, if you're making a sugar syrup, it would tend to just be sugar and water. But because we're making gin and tonic cupcakes, we're going to use tonic water to give that gorgeous flavour of the tea. Mm. Uh, and then at the end, once we've created our sugar syrup from the tonic and sugar, then we're going to add our gin in. But we don't want to add it in until the end because we don't want to heat it up. Well, let's hope it lasts till the end. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to squeeze some lime in here. Okay. Very simple. Okay, that's quite cool. So you're just using a fork to help get the maximum juice out of it. Good I tip. am, and these limes uh, have no seeds, so it makes sense. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. This is good. Are you happy to continue to do that? Yeah, you can, I can do, do that. the second lime for me yeah. if you don't mind. <laughs> okay, I'll do something. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're going to uh, pop the sugar in there as well. Okay, cool. So. While you're doing that... Oh, wow, that does make it easy, doesn't it? Does, it? doesn't Thank it? Thank you. <laughs> While you're doing that, I'm just going to tip our butter here into a large bowl. Okay, here's a question. When you're using butter, do you like unsalted or salted butter? I like to use unsalted butter because mm -hmm. then you have control over the seasoning. Okay. Uh, and in baking, of course, unsalted butter is good. You're right. Because uh, you may not want a lot of salt in there and you can always add a pinch of salt to your baking if you feel like it. Nice. So this is just simply a matter of sugar and butter that we are going to whisk together. Sugar and butter whisking together. Yes. And these, these have all, I've obviously measured out all these ingredients already. Nice. And you've been using the Tala measure cup. Um, I really love Tala, mm. available at Millie's Kitchen. And the good thing is with these is that look at all the uh, lists of how you can measure different things. So whether it's sugar, rice, couscous, sultanas, it's got grams, it's got pints, it's got cups, everything. Tala Bakeware, millieskitchen.co.nz or pop in store. Quality. And the good thing is, is that it's going to last and none of those markings are going to rub off like they do on the glass sometimes, you know. You're totally. Like, oh, I can't read the measurement anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I think the great thing about having measures like that as well is that you don't have to be worrying about is it in cups or is it in grams. Yeah, so I'm just, you have now got the sugar going in there. It is going to melt into your tonic water. So pile that in for me, please. Okay. And what, is there anything you need to keep an eye on when you're doing something like this? When you're we dissolving don't want the, the sugar, sugar to, burn. to burn, so okay. I'm just going to actually give you this so that you look professional. Okay, thanks. <laughs> and the sugar is going to melt into the tonic water and once that's melted in, which will just take a couple of minutes, we're going to pour our gin in there. Okay. And that is going to make this amazing syrup. And I'm just going to finish uh, creaming the butter and sugar here. I'll add the eggs one at a time into the mixture and finish off with the self-raising flour, a little bit of vanilla, and they'll be going straight into the oven. And when we come back, we'll be able to add our syrup to the top of those. We've been dissolving the sugar, the lime juice. It's looking mm -hmm. good. Are you happy with fantastic. that? looks fantastic. Now you can tip that gin in. You've, okay. you've turned the heat off. Yes, turn the heat off. Yes, turn the heat off. Now add the gin in. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'll put it in. <laughs> Keen to have a wee sip. Okay. Now, I've taken these just out of the oven here, these little mini cupcakes. Okay, cool. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to prick them 
lightly with a fork. What does that do? Help it, vent them? Uh, we're going to add the syrup and we ah. want the syrup Ooh. to come in to our cupcakes. Oh, yum. So I'm just going to prick them a couple of times with the fork. Yep. And then if we can just move this over to here, Mike. Mm -hmm. And dip. Okay. Oh, this is easy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, so cool. what's happening is the nice warm cake will absorb yeah. this sugar syrup. It keeps the cakes moist okay. and it also imparts that beautiful flavour of gin and tonic. Okay. So I'm being quite generous. Is that what oh, you're supposed to absolutely. do? Absolutely. <laughs> and while you're doing that, I'll just get uh, some little decorations ready. So I've got some lemon here. Of course, you can use a lime as well if you would prefer, but we... Uh, used all our limes for our juicing there and I forgot to slice some off so I'm just using a little lemon here okay because we love love these cupcakes to impart what they actually are to someone who is tasting them so that they understand what the flavor is and they're gin and tonic so I thought why not turn them into little mini gin and tonics this is brilliant I've, I like a good GNT people are like oh you get no mate like a GNT <laughs> But it's on Vogue Because it now. appears to be, what, sophisticated? Yeah, no, everyone's into Age. gin and tonic. Yeah, yeah, I think gin and tonic's fantastic. There's and some what, beautiful gins around. I just those? took some little uh, straws yeah. and cut them up so that we can make these look like little gin and tonics. Okay. Now, I see. Yeah. yeah. So my icing is icing sugar and butter, but instead of adding milk to soften it, I've added some gin in here as well. All right, okay. Nice. So we're just going to decorate these. Oh, you're a bit of a pro at that, aren't you? Can I forget that? Is oh, that hard to do? Oh my goodness, of course. So start at the outside yeah. and then work your way in. Okay, cool. And squeeze and twist. And squeeze and twist. Squeeze okay. with that hand, twist yep. with that hand. Okay, cool. So you might want that hand to come down a little bit lower. That's it. Beautiful. And while you're... Oh, fantastic job. Sorry, but the <laughs> Fearless Kitchen's only for mums. So you don't fit the bill, but you're a great person to have on board oh, yours, for icing. <laughs> yours are way better than mine. It's looking good, Mike, looking good. Whoops, I've gone the wrong way. And then we add a little bit of lemon, and look, we've got a perfect little G&T as a cupcake. These are awesome for a ladies' afternoon or a Mike Peru afternoon, because he has just admitted he loves a gin and tonic too. No, no, gin and tonic, this is a great idea. Perfect for the weekend. Oh, it's great for the weekend if you're having some friends over yeah. or also if you're not really into desserts but you just want a little sweet treat at the end of dinner, maybe with a sharp espresso or a cup of tea, how gorgeous to bring these out at the end of a dinner party and share with your favourite people. Best icing ever. Thank you so much for this. It's been great having you, by the way. Oh, thanks Thank so you. much yeah. for having us. Uh, awesome. Having me. Yeah. It's been fun <laughs> to be with you in the kitchen. Get the recipe at thecafe.co.nz. Okay, let's head over to right. Vanessa. How have those cupcakes turned out, Vanessa? They're looking good. They do look fantastic. What a yummy treat for a Friday morning. Oh, yeah. Okay, bring them <laughs> over. Let's do it. Okay. Oh, look at those. I know, it's nice. Mm.